Are you okay? <gasps> no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. Welcome back to another episode on B.O. Reviews. In this episode, we take a look and review a survival horror game with Alan Wake 2. I have never truly been into survival horror genre. The only Resident Evil that I actually liked were the fifth and sixth installment, which, let's be honest here, were fantastic action games. So, with Alan Wake as a true survival horror game that was highly regarded as Game of the Year in 2023, I took a chance as the Epic Store had a fantastic deal at a mere $20. Alan Wake 2 was developed by Remedy Entertainment and released by Epic Games in 2023 for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and for Windows PC. This survivor horror game is a sequel to Alan Wake from 2010. I generally had no idea on the story so I watched a quick summary on YouTube to get an idea on what I was walking into and this one is a doozy. The story follows FBI agent Saga Anderson who is there to investigate a murder and is thrust into a scenario where reality is being rewritten by novelist Alan Wake who is trapped in an alternate dimension called the Dark Place. As the game progresses, Alan and Saga work together to escape and save the town and its people. The overall premise here is very intuitive and tells a great story, but keeps the player in the dark with nice conversations and cutscenes. The writing here is great along with the voice acting where you are gripped to the end and everything does explain itself more deeply as I was very confused at times, but it all makes sense. The gameplay is tight and responsive in a third person perspective over the shoulder action gunplay. Nothing here is new but does feel comfortable and easy to jump into. I didn't like the gamepad setup and had the option to change it which really helped as I moved the dodge button from the shoulder button to the face pads which made for me a lot better in the action sequences. The use of the light and flashlight in fighting enemies is really nice touch that really puts you on edge throughout the game. Puzzles and investigating is a very large part of the game. You will investigate in the mind space with Saga and solving progression by placing clues together really does take a toll on you. I'm not a puzzle guy, but the game allows you to zoom through them and also take your time figuring out what to do next for those detectives out there. I zoomed through them all as I had no real patience for it, but was a cool idea that gave the game and the player the option that was tedious for me, but at least it didn't frustrate at all. The atmosphere is absolutely incredible. If you want to get your blood pumping, this game really doesn't let you down. With the lighting effects and the use of your flashlight, it was very scary as you move around thinking anything can jump at you at any time. Even the jump scares get me almost every time, even though they are the same quick images that even the game makes fun of at times. There was no time I felt safe. Shit. I need to get the power back on. The visuals and presentation here is very good in keeping you engaged with the overall design. I kept looking around as I moved around the dark place and the town and felt that they are really made great choices in keeping you always looking at the environments with all the characters really playing their part. 
there even was levels based around a music video that was some of the highlights that surprised and left me in awe. Overall, the game truly immerses you into this really confusing world with great effects. The story, gameplay, and atmosphere are absolutely great with visuals to back it up. Only the investigation portions and puzzles put a damper for me but was still interesting on how it was presented. Alan Wake 2 gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its fantastic story and atmosphere that does drag at times with the puzzles and investigation segments but still gave me one hell of a experience. I might try other survival games now in the future. That's it for this look and review of Alan Wake 2. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and Greg. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. The tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.